wood. <laughs> too big to lift, too big to split. It does roll. And heck, it's not even the biggest stuff. I think what we're going to have to do here is use some science. The science here is the um, chemistry for stored energy. The physics is the idea that a sharp impulse will do a much better job than even a big steady pressure. And that little guy between the two powder cans is what's called a powder wedge, which I learned about from a YouTube video of one of the don't try this at home sort. Uh, and basically it's just a uh, chamber. This one is 4130 chrome moly steel, rather thick. 5 8 inch bore, about 27 cc's total capacity. We're filling it to about 20. And using can fuse and of course the good old torch to keep from burning my fingers when we light it off. Demo to follow. Okay, that powder wedge is uh, driven into the log to be split and backed up by another log to keep it from flying away and getting lost. Um, and you just light the fuse and uh, get away, as they say, to a safe distance, as they say. So in this case, we're letting the camera have the excitement and I just get to stay alive. By the way, that trick of using a torch for the fuse saves some burned fingers. That thing shoots out a jet of fire. Well, I'm not sure what happened. I'll have to review the video, but we won't waste bits. Close, but no cigar. Remember I said the 20-ton log splitter was having troubles with this stuff? It's got multi-stems inside the same bark, and it just will not split by hand or any other way. Wedges and, and malls just bounce off this stuff. So we're going to flip it in for end and try it again. Okay, flipped around. I'm using real black powder this time with slightly finer granulation as I think that the uh, burning speed is going to matter because of the gas can has those, already has those existing cracks to escape out of now. Let's see what happens. Light fuse. Get away! Here we go! <laughs> Here I go hide behind something. Now that's more like it. Victory in the woods.